now the images coming in from the carnage are raw. We're going to start with the sound that was very eerie, a warning to those living in Israel. <laughs> You could hear the rocket sirens sounding on Saturday before dawn in Tel Aviv. This was the first day of the battle. Uh, little did anyone know how much horror was to come. And Dan Perry shot that video just as he was waking up. He joins us right now. Uh, thank you so much for making the time to speak with us. I know you were a foreign correspondent for the Associated Press for three decades, so you've heard these sirens many times before. Is what we're hearing uh, what we would hear if the Iron Dome was detecting missiles? Yeah, you'd hear incoming missiles, and what generally follows that siren is explosions up in the sky or explosions on the ground if the missiles fail to uh, intercept the incoming. Now, do you know anybody yourself who was kidnapped or harmed in all of this? Uh, I know people who have family members and close friends who were killed. Were they, I mean, have they received any word from their government? And, and, and kidnapped, actually. And the kidnappees... Uh, as, as far as I know, have not. I couldn't swear to that. But there is a general agitation in Israel mm -hmm. about the fact that the government is not sharing information and seems um, at times to be sort of at a loss and behind events. Yeah, it, well, it's certainly touch and go right now. I mean, 72 hours into this fighting. And while we don't know how many hostages there are, we know it's mostly Israeli, uh, but there are likely U.S. citizens. Do you think, considering the savagery of Hamas, that there's any likelihood those who were kidnapped will get out alive? Yeah, I think there's already, clearly what Hamas wants is to use the hostages to prevent Israel from truly exacting uh, revenge against what has happened. Uh, you know, they, they changed the equation by invading a country and killing a thousand people. Uh, normally, this would probably mean uh, a completely new paradigm where Israel invades Gaza and takes down Hamas. They cannot really do that with impunity at this point because of this new factor of the hostages. Uh, if they kill all the hostages, they lose their leverage. So I think they're going to use uh, this new um, uh, card that they have uh, to, to deal um, in order to try to extract massive uh, uh, prisoner swaps from Israel. Israel holds many hundreds, maybe thousands, of accused terrorists in its jails. I'm already hearing talk of um, an initial deal trying to uh, broker perhaps via Qatar, which is a patron of Hamas, uh, whereby they release the women and children. Mind you, they have children yeah. uh, that they could, um, in exchange for some of the women accused terrorists and convicted terrorists. Yeah, I, I mean, watching videos that came out, and you have, you have to be assured that it's a legit video uh, that you're watching, that it's a timely video, but hearing people talk about 12 year old children. 16-year-olds uh, just being ripped out of their homes uh, by Hamas terrorists. Th there was no way that this organization acted alone. I mean, the Wall Street Journal and others have been reporting what's suspected for a long time, that mm -hmm. Iran provided the weaponry, they helped with the plan, they gave the go-ahead. Do you think there will be further retaliation by Israel on Iran? Uh, frankly, no. Uh, I mean, Iran has been a patron of uh, Hezbollah and Hamas for, for many years. The degree to which they control uh, and order up any particular event is always in the realm of plausible deniability. For Israel to attack Iran uh, is, is too big a gamble, uh, and it could set the world to flame. I, I frankly don't expect that. A pinpoint action within Iran uh, against nuclear scientists and things of this nature is something we've seen before, and that could happen uh, yet again. But I think right now in Israel, the priority is, A, to clean up uh, uh, the remaining situation in the south of Israel, which I believe has been done in recent hours, and B, to figure out a way to both deter Hamas from any further action while not endangering the lives of the hostages, mm -hmm. and frankly, to figure out who exactly is there. We still don't know the exact number. So it's it's an agonizing situation because uh, a bo it clearly calls out for the kind of retaliation that would create a new level of deterrence, but on the other hand, uh, you have these hostages, and no one wants to see them executed. Th there is a feeling of uh, a paradigm completely changed and a conception completely uh, a blown up. The idea that you can contain Hamas, that you can accept that a, a terrorist mafia is in charge of a neighboring territory. And uh, is, is never mind victimizing the two million long-suffering Palestinians who live there, but they're shooting rockets at you and now invading your, your territory. and. Adrian, the, the videos coming out and, and the stories we're hearing are beyond belief. I've heard it described as animalistic. That does a disservice to any animal I have ever encountered. I mean, they, 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 they shot up 
entire families with little kids as they slept. They, they, they burned homes upon people who were living there. They raped young women. They kidnapped children and old ladies. Uh, they, they, they filmed the videos of themselves uh, dancing with joy uh, around bodies of people they had massacred. Now, this is not a normal thing. Mm. This, I, I don't know if it is, it's being spoken of as Israel's 9-11, and I think that's true. And Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.